by Rain Checks. Rain Checks are a way of getting a sale price for an item after the sale has already ended due to the store being out of stock when you go to shop. So what you need to do is, is that if you find something that you need that's on sale, for instance, let's just talk about the Angel Soft. This is a King Supers one. Let's say I go into King Supers and the Angel Soft is cleared out. What I would do is I would take a picture of the shelf along with the tag to show proof of the sale price. And when I go to checkout or when I'm about to leave, I could either go to customer service or ask at checkout. But I would just ask for a rain check for Angel Soft for the four pack. And then I would tell them that the price was 10 for 10 and I would show them proof of the sale by showing them a picture of my, with my phone. When you're wanting to go to redeem these, what you need to do is just go get the item you need. Like, for instance, say the sale is ended. I would go to the store and I'd get the four pack of Angel Soft. I then would take the Angel Soft to normal checkout and I would hand them this rain check and just say, hey, I have a rain check. These were 10 for 10. And then they would price adjust them down to give you the sale price. You can use coupons when you do a rain check. Sometimes you may run into people saying you cannot use a, a coupon, but yes, you in fact can. A lot of rain checks expire. When you go to King Supers, they actually write the expiration date on you, on the rain check. It's usually a month after. Um, it's usually good for 30 days. So I actually got this rain check on 310, so they write it for expiration of 410. Walgreens, it depends on what kind of rain check you get. <clears throat> they have these old ones, and they don't have expiration dates. But now they have these new ones, <clears throat> excuse me, and they do have a 60-day expiration date from when you got it. So since I got this on 127, it would expire 327. Safeway, they expire 90 days after you get them. So you just want to make sure you keep track of your rain checks and when they expire to make sure you use them correctly and you don't let them expire. Um, with Safeway, their new policy is you can only get a quantity of six. So when you go and you get a rain check, they're only going to give you a quantity for six. So when I go to read, like when I go to turn this rain check in, I can only get six of these frozen cereals or eight in my case because that's what they had written it down for. But if it was six, I could only get six. So you just want to make sure you follow the quantity rules. And if you have, like, say, 30 coupons and you only have one rain check, what I recommend you do is just go to the store daily when they're sold out to get you enough rain checks to cover all of your coupons. Target also has rain checks. Theirs are a little different. They usually have a rain check card, and I'll post a picture later. And you just take that to customer service and ask for a rain check. And it actually prints out like a receipt, and so when you go to the register to check out later on after you've gotten your rain check item, you just give them that receipt, and it'll price adjust it for you. Also, what I like to do is I keep this little accordion folder on the side of my coupon tote, and I usually keep all my rain checks in here just so I don't lose them and so they don't get mixed up with any of my um, other coupons. So you just want to make sure you keep these separate in a place that you won't they won't get lost.